He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the T. It's Gary, babe. All right. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Dionne Warwick, the cousin of Miss Whitney Houston, baby, mm-hmm. is speaking out. And we all love Dionne Warwick. She's the mother of music, child. I'm going to put it like that. But they're saying Dionne ain't one to hold back her pen. And she reminds fans, y'all, by letting them know, y'all, that this is a touching story, y'all. That fellow singers Mariah Carey and Tony Braxton weren't icons in her mind. Now, the um, first black pop superstar, Miss Warwick, honey, she did an interview recently, and she was asked, y'all, what it took to be an icon. Now, regarding of as of um, the many blueprints of many um today's musical stars, Miss Warwick said she didn't know what it took to reach the industry higher echelon and regarded as one of the greatest in the public. But she said this. She said, I don't know. She said, I just know that what status is reached. She said, we know who they are. She said, but what it takes, I don't know. She said, I wish I had the answer. She said, I know it takes more than a hit record. She said, I know that. She said, now, there are many who never had a hit record before, like Miss Lena Horn. She said, they consider us icons. But she said, they asked her about Mariah Carey, a five-time Grammy winner with 18 number one singles and a career spanning 30 years could be considered an icon. And Miss Warwick said, honey, I'll never love this way again because that was her song. But she said she ain't sure if Mariah is no um, Oh, she's icon. definitely an icon. Come well, on, then We're on an act about Tony Braxton, baby, the Breathe Again singer, honey. And she said, girl, first of all, I don't even know if Tony want to be a considered as an icon, number one. She said, I think um, Tony love what she's doing as being an, an accomplished singer or whatever. But she said, but what she did say who could be an icon in her mind is Brandy. She said, Brandy affect- affectionately Christian as the vocal Bible, she said, whom she believes has potential and was a double threat as a singer and an actress. She was equally praised of Mary J. Blige. She said, I remember Mary J. Blige when she was wearing combat boots. She said, but right now, Mary J. Blige is doing great things. You know, she has good music and what happened. And she said, you know, in her mind, that, you know, maybe she has the potential to be an icon. But as for um, Tony Braxton and Miss Carrie, Mariah Carey, she said, mm so, I think everybody you named is an icon. <laughs> okay. But what, Definitely. like she said, what is considered an icon? I mean, when you everybody break records you just named? And you have so many hit records and you break records and you set trends and people want to be like you and you have millions and millions of fans and you've been around for years and you still here. Right. Yeah, yeah that's well. iconic. Yeah, I guess yeah, some so. people don't make it. Some people have hit records and you ain't seen them since they made that right. hit record. So I feel like if you've been around and you have longevity and, and people still know your name and singing your songs, that's legendary. Yeah. yeah well, Miss Warwick said some of these people she didn't think would be iconic. So, honey. Well, and everybody's I mean, and entitled to their own opinion. Exactly. And Dion, honey, has been around a long time, baby. She's a yes, very she grand has. girl. Yes, yes and, and we won't say nothing bad about Miss Warwick, honey. No, she's a legend and she's a diva and we love her. Mm-hmm. So, there you, so, Brett, you're an icon? Uh, some people think I'm an icon. <laughs> Absolutely. The first female rapper to sell over a million records. You're damn right she is. Because mm-hmm. I ain't got to say it, I'll say it. That's right. So damn. She really became icon when she put them pictures out three summers ago. Special case. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm looking at it right yeah. now. I'm so oh, 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 Icon in my eyes. Then Googled it myself. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, honey. Moving on to another yeah, celebrity news. Kenya Moore, honey. Gallery. She's. She's speaking out, y'all. She's saying, honey, uh, her husband wants her to take off little Brooklyn off the show. He don't want to have baby Brooklyn on Real Housewives of Atlanta anymore. And she's saying, honey, nope. She said, right now, she wants so custody of her daughter. And she said, right now, she's going to have to do what she have to do with it. But she also spoke out saying, you know, one of the reasons she probably um, running behind this nut uh, was married to him. And they're divorcing now. She said, because of her mom. You know, her mama abandoned her and left. And she feels that, you know, some of the problems she had from her mother is leading her on to chasing destructive relationships with men. So mm-hmm. I never heard about it from a woman. You usually hear about it from a man. But with a right. woman, you know, you could have a destructive relationship from, you know, your mother or what have you. So that's what Kenya said. Though She said, I'm chasing something that I didn't get from my mom. And I guess that's this man. So let's keep her lifted up in our prayer, y'all. All right, the Kahlua today, honey, is one of my favorite spring summer Kahlua's. My Kahlua today is potato souffle. On the high end, you say potato souffle, and on the low end, you say beautiful off white. That's your Kahlua for today. Gary, some, my, my spirit spoke to me and said that you're going to be driving a Tesla in two years. Two? Claim it in Jesus' name I'm right claiming now. It. Yes, Lord, Jesus, an right electric now. car. You're mm-hmm. going to pay your taxes, and you got a Tesla on the way. A <laughs> Tesla line. I kept seeing Gary. I kept seeing oh, my Tesla. Lord. Oh, or whatever, yes. but 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 yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, I'm receiving spirit. that because that's better than. Well, I ain't gonna say better than my G, but um, yeah. <laughs> 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 he 
hate that Jeep. Because <laughs> he don't like clamming up in it. Uh-huh. And it nice car. Yeah, I love it's it. It's too hard for him. Why don't uh-huh, you just paint it pink, it Gary? <laughs> Paint it pink and put you some little steps on that little escalator on there. Yes. Yeah. Put your uh, yeah, put some Barbie stickers on it. Yes. Right. <laughs> that would be cute, though, girl. Okay. You yes, got your Barbie baby. Jeep? A Barbie Jeep. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all give it up for Gary with the team.